Now let's look at how nature and nurture affect IQ. Identical twins share 100% of their genetic makeup. They're genetically identical. Fraternal twins share only 50% of their genetic makeup. This is also true for siblings and parents. So you share 50% of your genetic makeup with each one of your parents. So 50% with your mom and 50% with your dad. And you share 25% of your genetic makeup with your grandparents, aunts, uncles, nieces, and nephews. And people you're not related to? Well, you guessed it. You share 0% of your genetic makeup with them. So we can turn these percentages into numbers ranging from 0, not related, to 1, being identical twins. This is called genetic relatedness. Now, environment has to vary too. Typically, biological parents and children live in the same household, but that doesn't necessarily mean they have the exact same environment, but it is very similar. Now, of course, there's also cases where biological parents and siblings are raised completely separate from each other. For example, when people are adopted. Now, let's look at a graph to show how IQ is related to different types of nature and nurture. Here are IQ correlations. Remember, 0, 1, 2, 3, not very good. They're not really related. But high correlations mean they're really similar. And here, we'll see if they share an environment or not, meaning if they live together or if they don't. So first, let's look at identical twins. They have a 1 on genetic relatedness. Here, we can see that identical twins who were raised together have a 0.85 correlation between IQ scores. So because they're genetically identical and they were raised in the same environment, their IQ scores are really similar. But we know nature matters because identical twins, who also have a 1 in genetic relatedness, because they're genetically identical but were raised apart, so they didn't share the same environment, have a 0.75 IQ correlation, meaning they're still really similar but not as close as if they were to live together. Now let's look at genetic relatedness of 0.5, meaning sharing 50% of your genetic makeup. So fraternal twins share 50% of their genetic makeup. Those who are raised together, so they shared an environment, have a correlation of about 0.6. So that's pretty related. However, if they're raised apart, it goes just below 0.4, showing that environment does play a big factor in IQ. Siblings, again, who you share 50% of your makeup with, those who are raised together with a shared environment have just below a 0.5 correlation, so it's not very related. However, if the siblings were raised apart, so they didn't share an environment, this significantly drops to just above a 0.2, which is a really low correlation. And parents who raise their children, so sharing an environment with them, again, had less than a 0.5 correlation. However, when they didn't share an environment, Again, it drops to about a 0.2. These show the importance of environment. Now let's look at adoption. So these people have zero genetic relatedness, but they share the same environment. So adopted siblings are just above a 0.3 in their IQ correlation. And adopted parents are just below a 0.2 in their correlation. Even though they shared the same environment, they didn't have a very strong correlation among IQ scores. That shows us that genetics are an important factor too. The formal conclusion of these studies says that about 50% of the differences between people's intelligence is due to genetic influence, and about 40% is due to environmental effects. That leaves 10% being unexplained, so we just don't know yet. 